The two main types of guitar to choose from are the acoustic guitar and the electric guitar. The electric guitar is intended for use with an amplifier. An amplifier is a separate device you plug the guitar into in order to give it greater volume. Generally speaking, acoustic guitars have no need for an amplifier. The choice doesn't stop here however, there is a whole spectrum of guitars to choose from. Classical or Spanish guitar As the name suggests, this is the ideal guitar to choose if you want to learn classical or Spanish styles of guitar playing. However, if you want to learn contemporary music, this is not the ideal instrument to choose. This type of guitar has a wide neck, nylon strings and a small body. This configuration gives the guitar the warm, woody tone you'd associate with classical or Spanish guitar. However, the wide neck and nylon strings can make strumming chords and playing lead work difficult. This is why this style of guitar is not really recommended for learning contemporary music. The folk, country or dreadnought guitar. This guitar can be recognised by the large body, narrow neck, steel strings and scratch plate. This configuration makes it the ideal acoustic guitar to learn contemporary music of many styles. The narrow neck and steel strings also make it the ideal instrument if you intend to move on to an electric guitar later. If you intend to buy a dreadnought guitar for a child, I would recommend you try them on it first. The large body can make it uncomfortable or awkward to play. The Electro Acoustic Guitar The Electro Acoustic Guitar is a true acoustic guitar, however it's got a pickup built into it. This means it can be plugged into an amplifier in order to make it louder. This is useful for recording purposes or playing to large audiences. The electroacoustic guitar pictured has a narrow neck and steel strings. You may have also noticed it has a strange rounded plastic back. This style of guitar has become more popular in recent years and produces a unique sound. Many electroacoustic guitars however look far more conventional like the classical or the folk guitar you've already looked at. The semi-acoustic guitar the semi-acoustic guitar is more of an electric guitar than an acoustic guitar. Notice the narrow neck, steel strings and scratch plate which it holds in common with the folk guitar and some electroacoustic guitars. The surface mounted pickups with volume and tone controls and the tremolo bar are features you'd normally only associate with an electric guitar. The semi-acoustic guitar is very quiet when played without amplification However, when amplified, it produces a warm, rich tone which is very popular amongst certain musicians, especially blues and jazz guitarists. The Solid Bodied Electric Guitar The Solid Bodied Electric Guitar are probably the most common and widely available guitars on the market today. There are thousands of variations in the shape, size and colour of the Solid Bodied Electric Guitar. However, these factors have very little impact or none at all on the sound the guitars produce. These guitars all have certain factors in common, however. You'll notice the narrow neck, steel strings and surface mounted pickups. With surface mounted pickups, you will always find steel strings. The steel strings are absolutely essential to the function of the electric guitar. This style of guitar was specifically designed for use with amplification. Played without amplification then, the guitar is very quiet. Because of this, most starter packs are provided with an amplifier. Guitar manufacturers In recent years, production methods have improved by leaps and bounds. This has meant an increase in high quality guitars at affordable prices. However, it has also led to an increase in the companies making guitars each guitar should be considered on its own merit then. Don't be put off a guitar because you haven't heard the manufacturer's name. Quite often, newer manufacturers have been making guitars for established manufacturers for many years. When choosing a guitar then, the first step should be deciding what style of music you'd like to play. The second step should be researching the bands which play this style of music, 
you might already have a favourite band which you'd like to research. Once you've done this, you should have a pretty good idea what type of guitars are used in the style of music you like. Don't worry however if the guitars are expensive, there are many cheaper reproductions of the expensive guitars. Once you've decided on what style of guitar you'd like, it's a good idea to try that style of guitar first before you commit to buy. Nearly all music shops will allow you to sit and play the guitars, and you may find you'll try a few before you finally decide on the one you want.